outside are Stefanian McPherson in four, and Klaxon, Salaski, Vizekova on the inside lanes. Starting on the outside in lane six, two times the Early national champion. Early five, but outside her Phil Healy. Healy. Won the uh, Irish indoor title for a second time recently. Good 60 and 100 meter runner as well. So she'll get out fast. Ailey Doyle, UK indoor champion, was second behind Phyllis Francis in Glasgow recently. Hurdler, of course, but on the flat indoors. Stephanie Ann McPherson in lane four. Glimpse of her. Nothing too impressive so far this season from McPherson. Alexandra Bezikova of Slovak Republic. New PB this season, 52.68. Salaski of Serbia in two. And Grace Claxton of Puerto Rico on the inside. You're the uh, fastest losers at the moment, so that's what will get you in the top six of those. And then close to 53 seconds might be... Good enough, Viskovic, who dived at the line in the last one, fell over 53-22, just about clinging on with Folarunzo. So Claxton, Salaski, Bezekova, McPherson of Jamaica, Ailey Doyle goes in five, and Phil Healy from the Bandon Athletics Club in uh, County Cork goes in lane six. So when the curve Away they go, and Doyle working off. Phil Healy at the moment, but Healy a very good shorter sprinter as well, and she may have the pace to take her out close to the lead. Doyle just chasing her down at the moment. McPherson looks easy at the moment. Bezekova working off her. Good run on the inside at the moment from Grace Claxon of Puerto Rico in the very tight inside lane one. And now as they hit the cones, they will break, and Phil Healy trying to just cut across there and take that lead. Now she'll try and hold on McPherson, just working away ahead of Ailey Doyle. So three away and cleared at the moment, two to go through automatically. Doyle in third at the moment. Phil Healy, this will be a case of trying to hang on for the Irish athlete at the moment. It'll be grim work over the last 100 metres. McPherson sitting on her shoulder, and Doyle should have some strength to move through at the moment. Phil Healy, now look at the work she's having to put in, but she's starting to wade and starting to falter now. And McPherson comes past, and Doyle comes past, and Healy is just struggling to the line, clinging on for third place, but a good run, better judged perhaps by Doyle and McPherson, who uh, measured it pretty well. Well, it was always going to be a case of that, I think, for Healy. She was relying on her pace to take her out and try and cling on for grim death, but she was being chased down by two high-quality athletes as we go back to the high jump. To join Katharina Johnson-Thompson at this new height of one metre, 91 is only her and Jorgilis Rodriguez of Cuba still involved. Rodriguez has fouled Johnson Thompson 191. And just, just backing in, and that's what I said. You said I wasn't happy at the height before, and she had cleared it, so it's a little unfair. But it's coaching's about predicting the future. What are the things that are going to affect you at the later heights? just rotates on the floor and backs in so her, num her back heads towards the bar that back number should she have taken it off who knows but you've got to go up stay away from the bar oh, tiny minicello with his crystal ball out here as we see rodriguez jump last night how much will that have helped her tony i'm not sure you know i think it just takes the spark out of your legs it, it, it affects the, the neural pathways of, it, it's tough high jumping. See, even there, even there, we see the French coach, look, there you go, I can predict the future. He's telling her about backing in and rotating and backing into the bar, I guess, but my French is a little rusty. <laughs> Rodriguez, after a foul at this height, 191 too much. Well, it looks like the height that's Going to finally sort out the best of the multi eventers. We know Johnson Thompson's capable and she can start to really take control of this five event competition. Rodriguez is just going for the bar early. The higher the bar goes up, the more you have to wait. You have to wait for your center of gravity to get up to the optimum point before going over the bar. So every jump requires you to wait. If the bar goes up, you have to wait, wait, and the bar goes up even higher, you wait, 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 then think about going over the bar. So the timing does change. Johnson Thompson jump 197, if you remember in Rio, the same height as the winning jump of the individual event. 
Ruth Batia that was at that time. 2.01 it was last night, but this is multi-events and 191 after a foul at the first attempt. Goes again, it's much better. That's more like it. Better speed, much better speed into the bar. Still a little bit too upright, but better speed. You've got more energy to convert to lift. Smile on her face. And that's what you want to see. When she smiles, she's relaxed. And that's just energy. It's still, the difficulty is, is that because the curve is quite straight, you've got an angle, you've got to create the rotation in different ways. So therefore you rotate on the floor. So the thing to do is to lean away and then you can concentrate on going up. But great clearance. That pushes her towards the 4,800 that really I don't think anybody else can score. So then Rodriguez hasn't been clear, well, close at all in her first two attempts at this height of 191. Johnson Thompson, the only athlete to have gone clear. So Rodriguez, last try. Well, the jumping in the legs from last night and from today may be starting to take its toll, maybe a bit of fatigue there. But 1 meter 88 for the Cuban. Better than last night. Remember, this girl's never done an indoor pentathlon. We have no... This is, this is the first time, really, of doing this event. And she's young, only 22 years of age. It's all a great experience for her. Cat smiling there, that, that's the difference. Yeah. I've got a feeling that's just settled her and coach. Yeah, he looks very relaxed now, so, <laughs> you know. And the next height, one metre 94. So really interested to see how Kat handles this. She is an odds-on favourite to take this title. How hard is that for her to handle, Tony? That's a, that's a really interesting question. I mean, some, sometimes being out in front is difficult for you as an athlete because it's easier to chase a target that's ahead than actually have all the emphasis on yourself. I mean, hopefully now she's the last athlete in, moving a runway back a little bit there, half a shoe, and then it, now she can relax. Now she can be in charge of what she's doing and just, just relax and enjoy the rest of the comp. Well, let's wrap up the uh, previous heat in the women's 400 meter. Fascinating run because McPherson and Ailey Doyle came through to the automatic qualifiers. Phil Healy, that 52.75 was the same time that Zoe Clark ran in winning her heat. It's a different way to run it. Healy went through the first 200 and 24.03, 28.72 for the second uh, 200. She was the fastest through the first 200. So Phil Healy will go through as one of the fastest losers. And therein is the dilemma of the 400 metres indoors, go too hard.